Hello. I don't know if this is working. Not sure. Is the mic working? Oh, okay. It works, I think. I had some trouble setting up this live stream, so sorry about that. I started the live stream, but then, and I'm using my phone, but suddenly my phone just turned off. So I'm hoping that there's no problems. Hope that it looks okay. And let's see. I wonder if I can, I'm looking at my stream Well, anyway, welcome anybody who's watching this. Um, hope you guys are doing well. In this stream, I'll be taking some random online quizzes and it's just for fun. And then in the future, I'm going to be changing uh, the format and doing some things a little bit differently. And I'll explain that uh, later as we go. Also, uh, this is the last stream of 2020, so I just wanted to be here and just hang out and do some of these quizzes just for fun uh, before the year's over and see how it goes. So I guess we can start. Anyahaseo, Arena, see the world. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you coming and watching. I appreciate everybody coming and watching. Anahaseo, Cat Mysterious, thank you for coming here and thank you for joining. Hopefully it will be, we'll take some good quizzes and see what the results are. So the first quiz, um, this one, it says, what kind of animal are you? So, I have not taken any of these quizzes before. So this is my first time seeing these quizzes and I haven't read any of the questions. I don't know the result. I don't know anything about it. Um, I'm a cat. <laughs> yes, that makes sense. You are a cat. Also very mysterious, it seems. Um, Okay, so the first question says, what uh, find a J, thank you for joining. First question says, what's your lifestyle? I can't share the screen, so I will read the question and then I'll uh, tell you my answer. So what is your lifestyle? Staying in place comfortably, always on the move, I spend a lot of time out, but I have a home to come back to. I just come and go as I please. I spend all day with my friends. So this question is very easy for me to answer. Uh, my lifestyle, I like staying in place comfortably. I'm very much a homebody. So I love staying at home. I love being at home. Uh, I, I don't mind going out. Going out is fun, but home is always my, my the place that I want to be, usually. Okay, so I'll click staying in place comfortably. And next, 
So the next question, it says, someone comes to you looking to start a fight. What do you do? Wow, this really interesting questions here. Um, I walk away as it's unnecessary to fight. I blindly go raging in, tackling him and his friends. I sneak up on him and strike. I gather my crew and teach him if that if you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. I warn him to back off before things get ugly. <laughs> um, well, that's an easy one for me. Again, I don't think I have, um, yeah, I have a feeling my answer is going to be something like a cat or something like that. But my answer would be, I walk away, it's unnecessary to fight. Yeah, I don't want to fight. I don't want anybody to fight me. So walk away. Best answer. Next. Next, it says, if someone were to drop a $1 bill in front of you, but they didn't notice, what would you do? Well, I didn't even read the answers, but I'll tell you in a moment. Cat Mysterious says, I will choose that one too. That's a good choice. Soji Soji, hello. Thank you for joining. Happy to see you here in the stream. Okay, so if someone dropped a dollar bill in front of you, but they didn't notice, what would you do? Well, I didn't even read the answers, but I hope everybody would just say something like, hey, you dropped a dollar bill. Um, that actually happened to me once in the airport. I think it was in the Denver airport and somebody, the dollar bill came out in front of me. So I ran to them. I said, hey, and I picked up the dollar but the dollars started moving and you wouldn't believe it. I realized the dollar was attached to some string and some kids were pulling it. So I felt really bad. I felt like, oh wow. So I was chasing this dollar to try to be a good person and it was all a prank. So I felt a little bit upset about it. But anyway, I'm happy nobody lost any money. The only thing I lost was a little bit of pride, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Shudalop. Thank you for joining. Yeah, that was fishing, real fishing. And they caught me. Uh, okay, so if, in, if someone dropped a dollar in front of you, but they didn't notice, what would you do? It's a dollar, they won't miss they won't miss it if I took it. Wow, what a horrible answer. <laughs> Tell the person they dropped a dollar. Okay, that's my answer. Debate on giving the dollar back. Leave the dollar if the person doesn't notice it and walks off, then I'll take it. Just ignore it, it's not my problem. Wow. Hello. Hello, Hoguma, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Um, okay, so I would definitely tell the person they dropped a dollar. I hope everybody said that. Next question is, if you could travel anywhere, I would travel to, and they have uh, five answers here. Hi, Sally, thank you for joining. Good to see you. So if I could travel anywhere, the first um, choice that says Europe, Bahamas, Asia, California, stay at home, I'm better off here. Well, that's a tough question because right now I don't think traveling is a good idea. But actually, I do love traveling. So 
if I could go anywhere, I think I would go with Europe. I went to Europe in 2019 and it was really fun. I visited, um, I visited four countries there and I really enjoyed it. So I was in Italy, I was in France, UK, and um, where else did I go? Um, <clears throat> and I went to Portugal. Yeah, I for, almost forgot for a second there. I want to go more places, so definitely I want to go back. So I will choose Europe for this answer. Uh, let's see, what is your social, what, what's your social circle look like? Spain, you should go. Yeah, I really want to go to Spain too. Hello, uh, Ivory Andy, thank you for joining. Good to see you again. Okay, a bunch of loyal friends, mostly just family. I stick to myself, I'm a lone wolf. Some loyal friends, some not really. I can strike up conversations with strangers. Well, this is quite a difficult question for me because uh, I can't really say that any of the answers are a good match for me, but I guess I would say a bunch of loyal friends. I'm not sure how many a bunch means. So I know there's a technical number for a bunch. Um, sorry for the late. No need to be sorry. Don't be sorry. Um, okay, let's see. I'll just say a bunch of loyal friends for social circle. I. The funny thing is I mainly spend time with family, but I'm not really sure. So it's either mostly just fa family or a bunch of loyal friends, but I'm just going to say a bunch of loyal friends. However, these days it's just family. Of course. Um, onu nara, nara iso wasunika. Where, which country am I from? Is that the question? Let me confirm. Let's see. I think that means where is, where am I from? Uh, yes. Uh, nanun miguk saram. Miguk saram eo. I think. Eo or eo. Okay, let's continue. And I'll just do that one. Next, if a homeless man asked you for food, but you only had enough for one complete meal for yourself, what would you do? Well, that's very easy for me, but let's read the answers. Number one, try not to be rude but tell him to get a job and provide for himself? That's terrible. That's horrible. Who would say that? Well, I hope you're not one of the people that would say that. Sorry. But I wouldn't say that. Um, politely inform him that you don't have enough to spare. Find a way to divvy the food and give him some. Give him the whole thing, ignore him. Okay, well, I'm guessing that means I already have the food with me. And if I had the food with me, then I think I would give him all of it. Um, because if there's a homeless person asking me for food, I would definitely, and I have food, then I will give him the food. But if they're asking for money, um, that's kind of a little bit different. So I'm not really sure because I do sometimes give money if like 
actually almost exactly one year ago, um, I was taking a train and some people were asking for donations. So I just gave like Chonwan. That's all I had actually. Now I don't, when I go out, I don't even have cash. I just use a credit card for almost everything. So now I don't even have money to give. Lavender, Anohaseo, and Experiment Car. Very good, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. My answer is going to be give him the whole thing. Yeah, if it's food, that's totally different than if it's money, in my opinion. So if it's food, I'll definitely give them food. Uh, okay. Let's see. Well, this is kind of a crazy question. Um, so I believe this question I will not do because because it's a little bit weird. It doesn't make any sense. Um, it's about some sort of uh, something. Anyway, how open would you say your life is? Okay, it says I've got some, uh, I've got many secrets. Don't ask, don't tell. I'll exaggerate the truth most likely. Um, I don't believe my life is of anyone's concern. My life is an open book. Okay, well, hello, Ji Young. Thank you for joining the stream. Happy to see you here. This one's tough question. I would say that I don't exaggerate the truth. Um, I don't believe my life is anyone's concern. Mm, a little. Um, I think I would say my life is an open book is the most, the one that makes the most sense. So I would say that also because I'm in the book, book, biz, book making business. So that makes sense too. So I'll say my life is an open book. Okay. Here we have a family pyramid. It's a, there's a picture of a pyramid. It says, what's the order of your family pyramid? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me read this. Kure aju arum down. De da bia. Let me, let me just check that quick. I'm using a translation program. Oh, thank you. Means a beautiful answer, I guess. I'm using a translation program, which is called Papago. And sometimes the translation is very good. Sometimes it's a little bit strange, but mostly it's a pretty good program. So I recommend it. Also, there's a mobile app that you can use too. Okay, so this one, what's the order of your family pyramid? Um, we have spouses first, friends first, no one comes first, me first, children first. Well, that's super easy. Uh, spouse first, no question about that. Um, let's see. I bear Andy, uh, my life is too, is open book. By the way, I forgot to comment. Really enjoyed watching your latest video about your Christmas vlog. Thank you so much. Teddy and Minnie were so cute, especially Teddy's new Christmas outfit. Also the pasta and cake. Yeah, the pasta and cake was very good. Thank you for watching. And Teddy, uh, he felt warm in his Christmas clothing. So I think he liked it. He's really curious. Every time Teddy gets something, he's so curious. And then he believes it belongs to him. And don't try to take it from him or he will get angry. Not really angry, but um, yeah. Teddy is right here. He's wearing a nice Steve Jobs style sweater. 
I can grab him for you guys, but uh, he might be a little bit growly. Teddy boy, come here. Come here. You're gonna hear him growl. <coughs> Sorry about that. Teddy, let me adjust the camera a little bit. He was sleeping. See, he's licking me now. Sorry, buddy. Sorry to disrupt your sleep. Your beauty sleep. <laughs> okay. Teddy's not angry. <laughs> he's very, he's a very sweet dog. You can see he's very sweet, but he was sleeping with his blanket and I just grabbed him. So he's like, ah, and now if you can see his, his hand, he, he's licking my hand and he wants me to pet him. Do you see that? He's looking at me. Good boy. Okay. He's not really angry. He just, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. Sorry, Teddy, you were requested. They wanted to see. Okay, Teddy, over there. Look over there. This is his Steve Jobs shirt. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. Anyway. Spouse first. That's my family pyramid, spouse first. Yeah. That was him yawning, by the way. Steve Jobs. Nom Ukyoyo. Very funny. I agree. What's your closest favorite foods? We have meats, cereal, sweets, fruits and veggies, junk food. Well, that's a tough question because I like, I like meats. I like junk food. I like sweets. I also like cereal. Fruits and veggies, I, that, that one would not be my top choice. Good for you if that's your top choice. Pizza, 100%. Pizza is definitely my top choice. I'm gonna just say meats. I'm gonna say meats. Oh, that's the end, okay. All right. I love chocolate too. I just had a chocolate cake recently, still have it in the freezer. The result? is I am apparently a lion. It says you are strong-willed, you put family first. Okay, I agree with some parts of that. You have a strong sense of duty to your home and loved ones. You're a provider and a protector. Okay, well, I'm happy with that answer. I think I agree with that too. Iber Andy says, maybe you can film a video of Teddy doing clothing haul and stuff in the future. He's really fashionable. That's a really good idea. A Teddy fashion show. And it would just be a lot of Teddy growling when I'm changing his clothes. But he'll be uh, happy about that. He has about five, five or six different shirts that he wears. Um, and I'm so used to seeing him wearing clothing now that when he's not wearing clothing, it feels a little strange and funny seeing him running around. <laughs> okay, chocolate cake and ice cream and pizza. I love them. Yeah, I don't see how anyone couldn't love those. Chocolate cake, ice cream, pizza, all on the same day would be perfect. But maybe I should do that for New Year's. Okay. Let's move on. We have the next quiz, which says, what is my spirit animal? These are all animal quizzes here. Let me see, let me take a different one, not another animal one. What is my movie genre? Okay, I'll click this one. What is my movie genre? Well, 
I like all movies, to be honest. So, okay, 10 questions to see which movie genre best suits you. Um, I guess my answer would be S, science fiction, and... Well, like I said, I like all movies, so it's, it'll be good to see. Okay, number one. Question one. A uh, typical hero in my film is a clueless man or woman who succeeds at the end. Let's see. That should be great. Teddy fashion show. Okay. I need to buy more clothes for Teddy then, but that's a good idea. Um, let's see. A fearless character with a lot of common sense. Common sense is very good. But usually, fearless and common sense don't go together. Usually someone is fearless, they're not very, they don't have much common sense in movies, in a lot of movies that I watch. I always think, whoa, don't do that, why are you doing that? Okay, next one, a character that may encounter failures but you can't help rooting for them. Um, yeah, those are inspirational movies, I guess. I like those sometimes, but usually I don't watch much mini inspirational movies. I did a lot in high school, especially before some kind of game or something. I feel like I should watch Braveheart or something like that. I do like horror movies. I used to love horror movies, and I used to go to the theater every time there was a horror movie. It didn't matter what the story was. Usually the story is not very good anyway. It's just people running and screaming and dying. But I did enjoy them. They were never very scary. The only movie that really scared me, and still scares me, is The Exorcist. I cannot handle that movie uh, because it's spiritual and it is really scary for me. But, you know, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Massacre stuff like that, that one doesn't really bother me. I, In fact, I bought the DVD, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre DVD. It was a really cool box because the box opened and when you opened all the box, it was a giant chainsaw with the disc inside. But that was back when we used DVDs. Sounds really old now to say back when we used DVDs. But yeah, I don't know. I had a huge DVD collection. I spent a lot of money on those, but now I don't have hardly any DVDs. Let's see, Train to Busan and Evil Night is my favorite movies. I did like Train to Busan. I was not scared for Train to Busan, but I love Train to Busan for one reason. I felt like it was a fresh take on the genre. I thought it did some unique things that other movie, other scary movies didn't do. So I really liked it for that reason. 30, day, 30 Days of Night, okay, I did not watch that one. Oh, you can get a better view of Teddy now. Let's see, let me finish these questions here. A clueless man who works, no, no, a character that may encounter failures, but you can't help rooting for them. I don't do the heroes and villains thing, it's too black and white, if anything, Someone taken from history or current events. Wow. I don't really like any of these choices. Fearless character with common sense. Okay, I actually don't want to choose this one, but there's no better, better option for me, so... I like common sense. So I'll, I'll go with common sense. I hate movies where, where they don't do the... Th normal thing people would do. 
Next question. What is your average movie night like? Me and my friends getting together so we can have a good laugh. Me and my me and a close friend watching something really high energy. Me and a close friend enjoying a good story. Me and some friends trying to scare ourselves senseless. That used to be me playing video games on New Year's Eve, playing Silent Hill. And me watching something intellectually stimulating on my laptop. Wow, I don't like any of these answers either. Hmm. I'm going to say me and a close friend enjoying a good story because in my opinion, a good story is the most important thing for a movie. I hate movies where the story is terrible. So I'm going to say good story. Lavender, you got to go. I'm going to join here late later again. It was a good time. Have a good night. Thanks. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you staying and watching. So see you next time. Have a nice end of the year. Okay. Question three. We're only on question three. Visually, what's the best part of the movie? The close-ups where you get to see all of the emotion in the character's face. The latest batch of special effects and CGI. I do like good CGI, and I hate bad CGI. Uh... The unique camera angles and editing techniques that heighten the mood of the film. I really like that answer. Mind-blowing panoramic views of nature or space. Well, I like that too. I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff. Hello, Volkswagen. Thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Well, there's three choices that I would like. The one choice would be close-ups. If you watch any of my videos, I do a lot of close-ups, so I like close-ups. But I also like CGI if it's good. I like it when I, I'm watching and I'm thinking, oh, I can't believe that CGI, I can't believe it. But I also like camera angles and editing techniques. That's really interesting. But I love nature and space, so very tough decision. I'm going to say unique camera angles. Unique camera angles. Okay. Hello, Misa Madura. Thank you for joining. Good to see you here again. Hi, Eat, Play, Love. Hi, Josh. It's my first time to be on live stream. Yay. Yay for joining. I'm happy to. Uh, hi, you, you. Hi, you, you. I don't know English well, so I'll just say hello. Happy 2020. Have a happier year 2021. Thank you. You too. I hope the same for you. I see your videos are superb. Thank you so much. That means a lot. I really appreciate it. Cat Mysterious says, yay, yay, yay. Yay! Good boy. Good boy, Teddy boy. I always call him Teddy boy. His name is Teddy, but I call him Teddy boy. Thank you. He's very cute. Uh, I agree. I, I'm biased. I agree. I think even if he wasn't my dog, I would say he's very cute. In fact, I like almost all animals, and I think all animals are very cute. Um, okay. Minnie is sleeping, having a cat nap, always. She's either sleeping, using the litter box, or eating. Those are the three things she does. Okay. Um, when you hear a great line in a movie, Use it when describing the film to those who have never seen it. No, I wouldn't do that. I feel like that's a spoiler. One good quote does not make a movie. True, but that's what they use to sell it, usually. I don't obsess over cool movie quotes. Quote it whenever I go 
no, quoted wherever I go to everyone I come in contact with. That would be funny and annoying. Um, but I think I have done that before. Actually, I do like quoting things, usually from TV shows. Only if I know that person saw the TV show. Usually from the TV show Seinfeld. Okay, repeat it to the people who saw the film with me or think about how awesome that line was. That's my answer. That's finally an answer I can agree with. Repeat it to the people who saw the film with me and think about how awesome that line was. Yeah, I would do that. And, yes, Cat Mysterious, that's what a cat does sleeping. I guess you would know. Not as mysterious anymore. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, let's see, you have a cat also, wow, yes. I have a cat, I love cats. They're very great animals. Um, and me too, yeah, you have a cat, that's awesome. What kind of cat? Minnie is a Russian blue. She's in my recent video, you can see her. How do you prefer your movies to be? Number one, dude, it's just entertainment. I definitely want some central conflict, but that's about it. Um, I want the events to be fictitious, but to play out just like real life. I want to rack my brain for months trying to figure out how the movie really ended. I want to become smarter by having watched the film. <laughs> wow, these answers are funny. That's tough because I like all the answers. It depends on the mood. It depends on the situation. Sometimes if I'm eating, I just want to watch something very mindless, something kind of dumb and funny. But if I want to actually enjoy the movie, then I want to spend a long time thinking about it. But usually there's not many movies that I feel like I don't understand that. So, and I also like feeling smarter. Who doesn't like feeling smarter? Okay, and I do love conflict. If there's no conflict, then it's not really a good movie. Um, okay, well, I'm going to say, and I also like fictitious but real life. That's also good. I think I'm going to say I want to rack my brains for months. That was a tough answer, though. I don't really feel good about that answer, but I'll do that one. Okay. Um, next, how often do you want to be alone? These answers are really funny. <laughs> Pretty much all day, every day. There are times when I want to be alone, but there are other times that I need some company. That seems reasonable. I like to spend most of my time with a close friend or two. Uh, I thrive on socializing, but I can hold back if I know that no one wants to be around me at the moment. That's really funny. If, no, if I know nobody wants to be around me. <laughs> And then this is the last question. I'm wondering who made this quiz. The last question is in giant letters, like it's shouting at me. It says, are you kidding me? I die without other people. Hmm. And this is for movies? This is a movie quiz. Okay. Well, um, let's see. I would say, I would say... There are times when I want to be alone, but there are other times that I need company. That seems reasonable. Okay. Do you like new things? New things are only good... Uh, sorry, can't read here. Uh, hold on. Movie to movie. No, move to movie. Sorry. Move to movie. Joshi, anahaseo, yogi... Swiss Seyo. Hangukun. 
무척 죽다면 써요. Um, <clears throat> I know you're in Swiss, and I saw your recent video. It was very nice. Um, I don't know the end of that, that part. I'm going to search for that quick. It says, oh, yeah, I heard Korea is very cold. I should know that one. Chukda. Oh, yeah. Chukda. Um, it's so cold outside now. Okay. Well, some people believe it's very cold. Um, I was outside today. I would say it's a little chilly, but I didn't feel cold, me personally. That's my uh, Minnesota thing. My Minnesota pride for cold weather. Um, so yeah, it's chilly. I wouldn't say cold. It's hot here in the Philippines. That's great. Soji, Soji, Minnesota, yes. In my opinion, it is not cold if you don't need a hat and if you don't need gloves or uh, we say a face mask. It's funny because now everybody has to wear a mask, but I mean, Teddy's trying to jump off my chair. I mean, like a ski mask. If you don't need a ski mask, it's not cold. Um, Spark mod, hello. Hello, thank you for joining. And I will say this, I should correct myself. If you watched the stream before, I said Minnesota can get to minus 60. Well, my mom watched the stream and she told me it doesn't really get to minus 60. So I had to go on Wikipedia and I found that minus 60 was the coldest recorded temperature, but I should correct myself, minus 60 is not normal. That's like super cold. Um, yeah, minus 60 is very, very cold. Usually it can be between minus 10 to minus 20. That could be very normal. However, to be honest, when you feel cold, you feel cold. So if it's minus 10 or it's minus 15 or it's minus 20, it doesn't feel different. It just feels like I'm cold. I'm freezing cold. I can't tell if it's minus 10, if it's minus 20. I'm just, my hands are cold. My face is cold. So it's about the same feeling. Uh, okay. Except when it's minus 30 or something, your eye, your eyes, you can close your eyes and then they get frozen when you try to open them. That's pretty normal. Too cold. I think Teddy wants to go. Teddy, you want to go, but people want to see you probably. Okay, you can go. Okay. Teddy's down. Let's see. Um, the coldest I have where I live is minus five. Minus five, yep, yeah, still pretty chilly. I think. Today is minus 10, maybe. I can't imagine that. I'm sorry you're having so much fun talking. I have to go now. I hope you finish it well. Thank you so much, Hogunwa. I um, hope you have a nice day. Have a nice end of 2020. And thank you for joining. It was nice to see you here. I appreciate it. Let me answer this question. Do I like new things? Okay. <clears throat> Number one. New things are the only things worth enjoying. Next, I like new technology, but I'm also partial to timeless entities like nature. I like that. There are just as many good new things as old things. Also true. It depends on what would be most effective. Wow, this is the hardest question yet, because that's also true. Uh, I could care less about trends. They won't last. I believe that answer doesn't match the question. 
because the question is about new things, not about trends. I think trends are totally different because old things can also be a trend. Okay, so let's skip that one and let's focus on number one through four here. It depends. Um, I'm going to say I like new technology, but I'm also partial to timeless entities like nature. Um, no, I'm going to say there are just as many good new things as old things. So I'll go with that one, especially now vintage things, classic things, they're all coming back now. And the new thing can't replace some of those great old things. Vintage things. What gets your heart rate up the fastest? Anything, so please just leave me alone. Wow. I feel like the person making the question is angry with their own question. Not being able to sleep and loving it. Exercise. Anything that puts my safety at risk. Going to the library. Well, Anything, so just leave me alone is not my answer. Um, not being able to sleep and loving it, that's a kind of a strange one. I don't like sleeping, I like staying awake, but it doesn't really make my heart rate go up. Chodo kuroke sengakeo. Koshirago. Okay, that's, I believe that means, I feel the same way, just because it's old, it's not bad, right? <clears throat> Especially now, old as vintage things are so trendy. Um, I'm going to say exercise or going to the library, but that's because the library I used to go to was on top of a hill. So when I went to the library, my heart was beating fast. So I'll go with exercise. Putting my life at risk is not very fun. I don't want to risk my life. So I'm not going to say that, but I do like roller coasters, but I stopped going on roller coasters because I don't feel like they're very safe anymore. There's so many roller coaster accidents. And if you think about who is working for safety at the roller coaster, uh, no offense if this is your job, but a lot of them are like students working a part-time job. So when they're checking your safety equipment, they just give you a thumbs up and sometimes I'm a little worried, wait, is it really safe? I feel like it's too loose. So I'm a little bit scared sometimes. But I do, I did used to love roller coasters. Um, how reliable are you? So you're a blue pill person. Blue pill. That is my favorite movie, The Matrix. Um, blue pill. Um, what is the blue, what is the blue pill? I forgot. I'm so sorry. That's like my favorite movie ever. I thought the red pill was the, wasn't the red pill like knowing the truth? I thought it was the red pill. Let's see. I can't believe this. This is a real shame. If my friend watches this, his nickname is Matrix, then um, then he'd be very upset. Okay. Okay, I was right. The red pill is the truth, so I didn't make a mistake, right? I hate roller coasters that make me so sick and scared. And no, I want to know the truth. 100% I want to know the truth. I don't want to be a, what is that, ignorant pig or something, blissful pig. That's the expression, psychological expression. Do you want to be 
It's a really famous thing. Hello, grass leaf do, anyahaseo, pangap simnida. Thank you for joining. Yeah. There, there is like two choices. Do you want to be a tortured philosopher or a happy pig? That's what it was, happy pig. No, I want to be tortured, a tortured philosopher. That doesn't sound good, but I would choose that. So I would choose the red pill. Um, so I'm not a blue pill person, no way. Uh, let's see. Smart pet color. Yes. Smart pet color. Oh, right. That's a store in America, isn't it? I think a pet store. For me, I think the red pill is the one taking risks or something. Well, the red pill is more about knowing the truth and the blue pill is about not knowing the truth and staying in the matrix. I believe. Happy cat, yes. Yep, that's a good observation, very good. Let me try to answer the question. <laughs> How reliable are you? I try to help out whenever there's an opportunity. I love to help people if it's with something I know more about. I mainly help out those I know best. I help only when I'm in the mood. Anyone who needs Anyone who needs my help is too helpless. Wow, that's funny. Uh, let's see. Sohorin. Sohorin. Hello, thank you for joining. Happy to see you here. I'm going to say I try to help out whenever there's an opportunity. I, I like to think I'm helpful. Maybe that's why I'm teaching. So I'm going to go with... I like to help out whenever there's an opportunity. And we're on question number 10, which is the last one. Who means the most to you? Number one, my teachers and other authority figures, my best friend, anyone who likes me, my friends and family, all the thousands of friends I have. Well, I don't know how many people could answer that one. I certainly don't have thousands of friends, but I would love to click that just to see what kind of genre. That, If you answer all the thousands of friends I have, I'm curious what genre you're going to be. I would guess horror. That's my guess. I don't know. I don't know the answers. For me, that's an easy one. My friends and family. That's got to be the most common, probably. Wow. So I got my answer. It says thriller. I love my movie genre is thriller. The films you are mainly caught watching are any films which give you a good shiver up your spine. Unlike horror films, which thrive on violence, your films are less about the monster leaping out of the shadows than they are about an underlying ambience of uneasiness and unreliability with your characters. That's absolutely true. I hate jump scares because number one, I don't think they're funny, uh, scary. And it's just like, Whoa! not really scary. I mean, you could go home and some cat could just jump out and you'd be scared. So that's totally different. Um, the cat's probably scared too. You may be an extrovert and enjoy a good scare with friends, or you could just as easily be an introvert who is engrossed by the numerous layers and nuances of the movie. Either way, you can't deny that creepy movies are here to stay in your collection. Yeah, that's true. One of, I'm going to tell you, one of the creepiest movies that I have ever seen, and I highly recommend this movie. If anybody watches this movie or has watched this movie, please let me know. I guess it's not that common. It reminds me of one of my favorite 
video games growing up, which is called Silent Hill. Not the movie. The movie, in my opinion, was bad. But it's called The Mothman Prophecies. Has anybody seen The Mothman Prophecies? That one is really scary. Also, Jacob's Ladder. Very scary movie. Very, very scary movie. Um, let's see. Che dala iga yope waso. My daughter came next to me, I think. Joshi hante son hundula soyo. Hello. Hello. Hello to your daughter. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me see, what does this say? I can't read it. Uh, too small, it's too small. One moment here. We have, I think Josh thinks he can see us. I can only see the chat room and myself. <laughs> so you're safe. I can't see anything uh, except my my delayed video, which is a, li a little bit strange sensation. My daughter's name is Nadia. Is that right? Uh, Uri Dal Ayirmi Nadia. Nadia. Hello, Nadia. That's a nice name. Um, okay. Okay, so yes, very good. Nadia Nom Kiawayo. The Mothman Prophecies is so scary. Oh, you saw that. That's great. I thought not many people would have seen that movie. That's a psychological thriller. It really messes with your head. Like you, you lay in bed thinking about it. Um, which I do like those ones. As long as they don't keep me up too too late. Okay, I guess now it's time to do the spirit animal. I don't even know exactly what a spirit animal is. I've heard that term before, but I'm not really familiar with spirit animals. Are you guys, do you guys have spirit animals? I know in games, like video games, I always have that one. Um, let's see. Hello, hi, Kiyoki. Oh yeah, of course, Harry Potter. He, uh, his animal is a deer. Okay. I, I did not actually know all of that. I don't know much Harry Potter trivia. That's probably not a trivia, but I mean, in general, <clears throat> I did go and I wanted to see the Harry Potter Museum, but I didn't have a chance. Um, okay, so a spirit animal here. What is your favorite natural element? Man, these are tough. That's a tough question. We have air, earth, fire, water, wood, space. Wow. Because I feel like all of them, all of them are my favorite. So favorite. Wow. Well, when I was young, I was always interested in fire. And I used to like making fire when I was camping or using a magnifying glass to try to make fire. But Fire actually scares me a lot, so I'm going to say not fire. I would say either air or space. I guess those are kind of similar, and I also like water. But we're going to go today, we're going to say space. Space. Let's see what answer we get when we choose space. There are only eight questions here, by the way. Okay, I feel at peace with myself 
Hold on, are we missing something here? Okay. I feel at peace with myself most of the time. Very accurate. Fairly accurate. Somewhat inaccurate. Very inaccurate. Well, I'm gonna have to say very inaccurate. Well, I don't know. Maybe somewhat. I guess my I don't know is kind of somewhat. Um, if you want to take this quiz, I'll leave a link below. So if you want to take these quizzes, you can check the link below later and take it. Let me know your answer in the comments. That'll be fun to see. Annyeonghaseyo, Ruby. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Hope you're having a nice day. Somewhat inaccurate. Okay. I tend to be more down to earth than head in the clouds. That seems very accurate. No, not very accurate. That seems fairly accurate because I am down to earth. No, my answer is changing quite a bit here. I'm going to say that's somewhat inaccurate because I always have what I like to think is ideas for the future. So I'm going to say my head could be in the clouds a little bit, but I'm also pretty down to earth, but I'm going to say somewhat inaccurate. Um, Nalshiga Chuayo. That means it's very cold. Nay. Nalshiga Chuayo. Some people in Korea, very cold today. Um, okay. Next question. I find it easy. I find it easy to approach others. Well, that is very inaccurate. It is not easy for me to approach others. Even if I'm ordering food in the restaurant. Nowadays, they have the machine you just order on the machine so someone like me that could be a little bit more comfortable uh, but yeah i feel a little bit uneasy when i need to approach people when i was um, traveling if i'm traveling and i need to ask somebody a question i always wait sometimes like five minutes to build up the courage to go ask somebody for directions. I can't just say, hey, do you know how to get here? Um, I am usually need to build up some courage. Sparkmod, I have to go now. I wish you a nice day and a nice end of 2020. Thank you so much. Same to you. I hope you have a great end of the year and thank you for watching today. I'm happy that you joined and see you next year, I guess. That's weird to say next year. Okay. So anyway, that question, I find it easy to approach others, very inaccurate. Next question, I frequently do things without a specific schedule or plan. I'm going to say fairly, no, somewhat inaccurate. I usually have a plan. It doesn't mean I always follow the plan, but I usually have a plan, so I'm going to say inaccurate. Okay. Next question. The typical ordinary way feels like a betrayal of myself. I'm going to say very accurate. I don't like doing things the typical ordinary way. I'm kind of... I kind of like doing things differently. Sometimes that's not a good thing, but usually I like to be a little bit different. Uh, I frequently come up with ideas or solutions out of nowhere. I would say that is fairly accurate. Doesn't mean the solutions are good ones, but I do come up with them. So sure, fairly accurate. This question, this test is a little bit easier because the answers are all the same. Um, hold on, let me read this. 
Let me read this. Shoshi, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Chodo Nadia wa Amke Shopping Kaya Heyo. You're gonna go shopping? Okay. Um, have a nice shopping trip and I hope you guys have a great new year. It was nice to see you and thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it and see you guys next year. So have fun shopping and see you next time. Okay, let me continue. Hi, Minji Roa. Did I say that right? Minji Roa. Minji Roa. Hello, thank you for joining. Happy you could make it. Um, I'm taking a quiz here and now I'm trying to answer the question. The most, no, the more useful I am to others, the happier I am. Well, it's nice to be useful. Nobody wants to be useless, I guess. So I'm going to say that's very accurate. If I'm, if I'm useful for someone, then I feel happy. And if somebody says that I'm useless, of course, I'm going to feel bad. So I'm going to say that's very accurate. Maybe I'm reading these questions wrong, too. I don't know. I spend a lot of time observing before I act. I'm going to say fairly accurate because some things I do spend a lot of time observing. However, sometimes I, I just act and that can sometimes be not so smart, but I'm going to say most of the time I usually observe before I act. And a pop-up just came up. I hope I don't have to sign up for anything to get my answer. Some of these quizzes you have to like give your email and then sign up and they'll send you the answer. So I hope it's not one of those. Okay, next question. I like to be impressive to others. Sure, very accurate. I don't want to be not impressive. I actually, I'm going to say fairly accurate because of course I want to be impressive, but at the same time, um, I don't worry too much if they're impressed or not. Like I'm not trying to impress people. So that's kind of a difficult question. But if I am impressive, sure. That, who wouldn't be happy about that? Uh, let's see. Getting notifications on the phone. Okay. I'm always looking for new things to experience. I am going to say fairly accurate. No, somewhat inaccurate. I do like new things to experience. However, I'm not necessarily actively looking for new things. Like I'm open for new things, but I'm not searching for new things. So we'll say somewhat inaccurate. I'm really wondering what kind of animals these are answering these questions. If these spirit animals all had to answer the same questions. Hmm. I live a fast paced existence. Very inaccurate. I would say not fast paced especially nowadays. We're just staying at home. How would you rather spend your free time? I'd rather go outside. No, no, I, I'm not even reading this correctly. I'd rather go outdoors and walk or hike in a park nearby, uh, building something or engaging in creative activity like arts and crafts, playing video games or watching movies, getting together with my friends and have fun going out, reading my favorite book or website in bed or on my couch. Wow. Well, I like all of these, so this is actually a tough one. Quite a bit different than all the other questions. I like engaging in creative activity, but to be honest, if I have free time right now, I would love to play a video game or watch a movie. So. 
I'm going to say playing video games or watching a movie at home. Okay, next. Hakusengi Shingayo. Hakusengi, student. Uh, Shingayo. Are you a student? I am not a student. I am a professor. I am a professor. I could say I'm a student of life. <laughs> That's a really cheesy answer. No, I'm a professor. I require lots of time to recharge. That is very inaccurate. I don't need much time to recharge. Even at night, I don't need to sleep much. I can, I can function, I can work with very little sleep. So that one I'm gonna say very inaccurate. Next one. Hello, Ryuni. Thank you for joining. Hello. Next question. I seek out the I seek out the secret of the universe. Wow. Very accurate. That is super interesting. And we have some bad news, you guys. Yes, I want to sign up for the spirit animal email list. Oh man. I got to sign up for this to get my result. But I don't want to Okay. I'm signing up quickly just so I can see my result because I spent all that time taking the quest test. It should be instant. But yeah, subscribe and see my result. That's what happens if you take the test naturally without taking it beforehand. So I didn't I didn't know that. Okay. Um well, I feel terrible about my spirit animal. I don't like that. I feel bad. It says my spirit animal is a snake. That seems completely inaccurate to me. So let's see what it means to be a snake. The snake animal meaning is powerfully connected to life force and primal energy. In many cultures, it is reserved, revered, rever revered as a powerful totem representing the source of life. When the snake spirit animal appears in your life, it likely means that healing, healing opportunities change, important transitions, and increased energy are manifesting. Well, the description is good. <laughs> However, I'm not a big fan of snakes, to be honest. Uh, in fact, when I, when, my, when I was young, there were some rattlesnakes in my hometown and even in my yard. So if, my, if we were on vacation, sometimes our neighbor would find a rattlesnake in our yard and they would say, hey, there's a snake here, and they would call the animal control to come and safely remove the snake. Anyway, we'll see. I thought I was hoping I would get some kind of like little cute animal or something. So I'm a little bit sad about that. I wanted like a, a nice one, like a unicorn or something. Unicorn would be my favorite, I guess. I don't even know if that's a spirit animal. I don't know how many spirit animals there are. I wonder I wonder how these spirit animals get to become a spirit animal. Like, do they all have to take the test to join the spirit animal list? Or what do they need to be, what do they need to do to be included on that list? Anyway, I just got an email from them, from the thing I signed up for, and I think I'm going to wrap it up today. This is going to be the end of the stream. This will be the end of 2020 for me. And I hope you guys all have a really 
Happy New Year, and I hope to see you in the next stream. I'm going to be streaming on Sunday um, and Wednesday nights. Uh, Wednesdays, I'm going to be trying to do some Korean studying online. And then Sundays, I'm going to be talking about my next video and doing fun things like taking these quizzes or whatever else, reading news, we'll see. So that's the plan for the future. Um, <clears throat> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you all have a really great new year. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next stream and see you next year. Happy New Year. See you. Goodbye.